What's the difference between wide, standard, and reverse grip pull-ups? A recent DMG study can give us some answers. The wide grip shows significantly more demand on the back muscles, focusing on the traps, lats, and rhomboid major muscles. So if you're having difficulty with wide grip pull-ups, it may be your lats or back muscles that are limiting you. The standard grip pull-up position places a fair amount of demand on the back muscles as well, but also favors the biceps and brachialis muscles more than the wide or reverse grips. If you're having difficulty with the standard pull-up, it may be due to weakness in the elbow flexors. Finally, the reverse grip pull-up shows increased early activation of the pec major, the triceps, and infraspinatus. The reverse grip also shows comparatively more contribution from deltoids and supraspinatus. If you're having difficulty with these, it may be due to lack of contribution from the supraspinatus or simply because it requires activation of so many muscles simultaneously. It's important to know the basic mechanics of each one so you can make a more informed, effective training decision. Even small differences in muscle activation can have a large effect on training outcomes over time. And that's today's beta.